used him uh, once. Well, technically a couple games, but sat down and played him once. You know, beat him a couple times, but uh, once we got to like the last game, uh, he got me. I'm like, good stuff, man. I, I, I'm so happy when I see characters like Marth and like just like underrepresented characters. Ike. 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 Well, we I got. Keep telling people if you got, Ike is a great yeah. Character. If any of you missed Rebirth, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh not, man. Maybe not high tier. <laughs> but viable. Ike is viable. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. All of you. Oh yeah, no. Shut up, Adrian. With that jab alone, it'll carry you Ike. You should so money far. match Cody and see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, Adrian Hypercrasher talking <laughs> some mess in the back there. He just he just shook his head when I said Ike <laughs> is viable. I mean, he probably Ike probably has some matchups that are really stupid. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't think Sheik would be that bad. I think Diddy's fine. Zero suit. He might lose to Zero Suit like slightly, but it's not awful. Um, Rosalina, I feel like is fine. Uh, Falcon's fine. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he beats Falcon. I've talked to the Reed brothers, and they say they hate that matchup. Hmm. Mario, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, unless you play the character, you really got to ask and study about these matchups. Well, I, I can tell you, Zero Suit Ike is not bad for Ike. As a Zero Suit player, that matchup's weird. Huh. It, uh, Zero Suit probably wins it by a little bit. But anyway, uh, we're starting. I think this is a button check. Yeah, they're talking about some stuff. And I agree. Gorgles. I'm not familiar with Gorgles, but thank you very much, sir. I'm sure you're very handsome yourself. Are, are the man and Jake about to pull an upset? There's a there's a hype match going on in the background. It's the yeah. man and Jake versus oh, yeah. Raichu for you and Wild. We got some pretty fire teams going on. Jake has been getting a lot better. He has. No, uh, he has. I played him a couple weeklies ago and beat him with Dark Pit. He went Falcon game one, Yoshi game I two. I forgot. Wait, I thought you used Normal Pit. No, or you I just used Dark I switched, but I prefer Dark Pit. I got then you. the, like, like two, one or two weeklies ago, I played him, and he, uh, I think he took a game off me, and I was Ooh. zero suit. So <laughs> that's a big improvement. I'm pretty sure yeah, he just yeah. dropped Falcon for Yoshi. Anyway, anyway. We got this. Uh, we got this money match going on. That a was a whole dollar oh, okay. money match. I was about to say, if he lost his jump, that would have been really. Yeah, that would have been uh, rest in peace right there. Just for recovering a little high. Ooh, he got that uh, roll read, but. I think I think he was think thinking was unintentional. like an extra step ahead, <laughs> yeah. just in case uh, Slam was able to mash out Oof. a uh, jump or something. All right, now right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be Don't. scary for Marth. Never, Ooh. ever, ever oh. want to air dodge in this yeah. situation. No, 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 no. That's what every Ness player wants uh, to do. I'm not sure why he did back though. There, and I'm pretty sure if you throw. jump away in air dodge, there's oh. nothing Ness can immediately follow up with. Yeah. Wow, wow, that was a zero to death. This, I'm going to say it's not a good matchup for Marth. Uh, one of Marth's good thing is spacing, especially with this forward air. Yeah. Although, if you're going to keep doing that on Ness, he'll shield you and uh, throw you. No jump? And no jump. Oh, okay. All right, just so that like that, game solid. one. Game one. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to stand by my words and say this is just not a good matchup for Ness. Er, However, for Marth. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 not good for Marth. Good for Ness, not good for Marth. Um, however, I'm not aware of Viper Moon's characters. Well, I, I do know the Marth. Like, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's all Marth, and like I said, Viper Moon adapts really quickly. Just from my Yeah, yeah, no, he does. So that's like, what I'm waiting for. Th I mean, that's just something you got to shake off. Yeah, yeah. He's so got to be a little more patient. Uh, notice that he likes to use a shield. And hey, guess who you are? You're Marth. What you got? Yep. I've been you playing, got the shield breaker. I've been playing Smash Brothers competitively for almost three years. Yeah. Pretty sure it's been about three years now. And the more I play, the more I learn that like Ooh, because that was you lost strength. the game, even because you lost the game badly, does not necessarily mean that you should just no, no, stuff count happens. yourself out. Yeah, stuff happens. Legitimately, it's so easy to um, may it create a momentum shift in uh, Smash 4. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right, Viper trying to give that retaliation. Uh. I like the Lilat pick. I do, this too. Like, uh, the platforms not, are really good for Marth. I think Slam didn't ban this because he didn't think Marth would go to Lilat, but Marth uh, <laughs> enjoys Lilat. Even in Brawl, yeah. as Marth, I hate Lilat Cruise. And I took people to Lilat sometimes because it's a good stage. The platform layout really, really works. Um, and you know, if I remember correctly, 
going quite a bit back. Ally took uh, Rayquaza oh, to yeah, Lilat. Yeah. That, that's way back now. So if Ally has Marth goes to Lilat, you'd know it's a good stage for Marth. Yep. That was a good jump eight. Yeah, it was. Ooh, all right. Oh, he, I don't think he meant to double Oof, jab. That, all right, he's alive. That's not going to kill, Lilat, yeah. I believe, has the second largest ceiling after Battlefield. Yeah, as long as he's DI to that corner. It's like tied, it's like oh, tied wow. with the uh, Duck Hunt. Read that yep. position. That was very good position there. Uh, that well-placed up air. That'll do it. Now, this isn't as bad as game one, however. Now, you were, you were saying that one of Marth's strengths was uh, spacing, and it's pretty easy for, like, Ness to stay in on him. But I'd like to make the point that uh, the other, like, really strong characteristic of Marth is his offstage game. Um, really? And his ability to just destroy you offstage, especially with back air, um, taking your jump with forward airs and things like that. He can kill very early. Ooh, Ooh, that killed off the top. I think that was a tipper. Yeah, it was a tipper. Ooh, Most definitely a wow. tipper. Um, okay, I see you, Viper. But yes, he can he can uh, abuse Ness's offstage game pretty well. Yeah. And you see how Viper uh, jumped oh, that out of that situation? Wait. That's what I'm talking about, like how he's oh, so good at adapting. Yeah, Viper, now he, he's waiting. He's waiting for these air dodges. Oh, All right, that's watch a PK out. fire. Slam? Yeah. Like, it's not actually common for Slam to go for a grab out of PK Fire. Yeah, I know. That's actually pretty rare. He usually reads you... Uh, Considering every mess does it. Yeah, spot <laughs> dodging or jumping away and goes for, like, a nair. Oh, that no, was close. No, yeah, he, he oh. snapped. Marth has a huge ledge snap range on his up Oh, he needs it. Yeah, for sure. All right, this is not too... Oh, oh that's that was, it. That was so greedy. Wow. Yep. That was uh, very scary there. But, uh... Is it well best played. of three? Okay. 